After your SCA upload and scan completes, you can then view the results. In the Applications tab, we have our SCA application sample for the demo displayed here. You can see that one high severity vulnerability has been detected. There's also additional information regarding licensing risk, and we'll have a look at that momentarily. This section is broken up into three components. I'm going to go first into the SCA application details. And here you can see listed the third-party libraries that were scanned. And our first entry here displays a violation of the policy rule. So we can drill into this particular library and see exactly what the details are. So we'll click here and we'll get a pop-up panel demonstrating to us that version 209 of this DLL and lower has a high severity vulnerability. And then versions that are more recent up through 2013 pass compliance. The vulnerability itself can be viewed under the vulnerabilities tab. Here, there's an XML external entities issue that's been identified as high, and that would likely result in immediate resolution steps. We can close this panel, and then we also have the licenses tab, which displays whether or not we are in compliance with the license distribution for that particular vendor. So we have green check marks here for passing that particular policy. And then we have license risk, which is a color coded high, medium, low, etc., for the additional compliance rules for owning the licenses and distributing them across your development teams and to look out for those levels of risk when you're evaluating your risk posture. And as we mentioned before, we have vulnerabilities which are listed individually on the tab. And based on your results, you'll then go ahead with your remediation next steps.